Uh, this is one to keep our eye on for the rest of TNA history. Observers say that <laughs> while Jarrett and Dixie have had their share of disagreements in recent weeks, there is no sign that their relationship has fallen apart. Rester says it appears that TNA upper management keep Dixie very well insulated from criticism, and even when Dixie lets them know that she didn't care for one of the shows, she is quickly reminded she, that she doesn't understand the wrestling business as <laughs> well as the Jarrett's and other officials do. Listen here, toots. Don't give your opinion on our wrestling shows. Let the men do the men business. And like, there surely reaches a stage where she's like, we're giving away tickets for every show and we're drawing 6,000 pay-per-view buys every week for a tenor. How well do these people know the wrestling business? And Jeff Jarrett hasn't followed me on Twitter yet. And that's the biggest metric. And he might be like, mm. Dixie, I don't know what Twitter is. And she's like, <laughs> that sounded like my Dixie impression. I see they're both like you, you, you just go to southern accent for both. And I'm like, I, I can't quite do like the Dixie. I, I tried to put an affect on it, but no, sorry. Well, Dixie, <laughs> that's I did Jerry. <laughs> this is way too deep. This is way too deep for Jeff. Uh, I can do Jerry. We've learned at least. <laughs> Jerry looking good, by the way. Saw him on the on the Tales from the Territory show. Man's man's hanging in there, looking well. Oh yeah, and he was on the the Ric Flair's last match show as well. It's nice to see him. Nice to see Jerry uh, making his his face known again. Getting all his credit for NWA TNA and for uh, Memphis, apparently. Yeah, but surely Dixie's like these guys. They they don't know wrestling. <laughs> They're full of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's clearly not working. So. You can't blame her for being like, maybe Vince is the one, because mm. it clearly isn't working when it's not Vince. More than one wrestler has countered that claim by pointing out that while Dixie may not have as much experience in the wrestling business as some of her employees do, she is a wrestling fan, and her views on booking isn't that far off from how other fans see the show. So she's bored out of her mind too. Yeah, Dixie is was basically the TK if TK didn't have full booking power. Mm. Was there ever a time in TNA when Dixie just did have full booking power? I'm curious if what what the Dixie Carter shows would look like. Dixie was never a booker. She probably she like influenced decisions, and she probably came in with uh, edicts. I know for a fact she did in 2012, in terms of who should main event that Bound for Glory. She it was apparently a Dixie call that like she's like Jeff Hardy's main eventing that show. Well, that's that seems like a good show. I mean, that seems like a good choice. Maybe Dixie should have been given this book. Well, like the problem was they were building the Storm and Root thing, and there's like. Jeff Hardy's main eventing this show. But also, they they, have, they, were, they already switched to Aries at that stage anyway, so... So, you know. I don't know. I would have liked to have seen the Dixie era. <laughs> What's Dixie's vision of wrestling? Yeah. What if Dixie's vision of wrestling was just, like, dynamite? <laughs> Dixie... I, I literally can't imagine Dixie sitting down to write a wrestling show. <laughs> She's like, and then we'll have Abyss versus Brother Devon, and then... <laughs> Devon over clean in 10 minutes. <laughs> I just, I cannot picture that. I cannot picture that woman sitting down even caring the single amount about that. Just formatting the show. Yeah. It's like, all right, we need a vignette for Jeff Hardy. <laughs> get really pumped about this Alex Shelley versus Austin Aries match she's booked. <laughs> it's even funnier if, like, yeah, she's like, all right, we got Roderick Strong in for three weeks. Let's put him against Alex Shelley. <laughs> That'll be a great work rate match. <laughs> the internet fans will love that one. The sheets will love that one. <laughs> uh, we should um get Dixie on the show and get her a fantasy book of card. Let's get her on the draft. Let's get her on the draft episode. They lead to like the Jim Cornette books so and so year of running a company. It's like Dixie Carter books 2012 TNA. Yes. All right, Dixie. Outstanding invite. 